time will come. Maybe he's not bothered about winning Maybe European tour titles. I, th I think he is. I think he wants one. He but definitely he's, is. But he's, you know, he is the European champion, and he's a two-time European champion as well. Yes. Yeah, so well, after that second defeat to Luke Humphries and his third defeat in a Euro Tour final of the Amazing. year, uh, he was back at the hotel, shared a lift with him. He just, you know, very graciously signed a couple of things from fans who were in the hotel. Got up on my floor. Doors slid shut, and then all he heard was <laughs> as he sort of bounced around in the lift and finally let out all his frustrations. So yeah, it does annoy him. Yes, and it's something he does want to address clearly. He uh, did get some revenge against Luke Humphries by winning a final, or the final, of the most recent Players' Championship event. That was Players' Championship 24. Across his first title of the year, but will there be others? I suspect there might be. Well, there were lots of stories from the European Tour this year. Luke Humphreys winning four of them, Michael Van Gerwen winning three, and of course that was the, the prelude to him taking the Premier League, the match play, and now the World Grand Prix as well. But Rob Cross reaching three finals is another, and he, do you not like the lie there, Rob? You can always come down for the 16s. That's what he tried to do. 127, that's your 137. Well, Rob Cross is uh, certainly targeting an early break of throw against Rusty Jake Rodriguez. It was a, a, a strange match for Rusty yesterday. We'll uh, touch upon that in due course. Let's just see if Rob Cross can take out this 81. 62 remaining. So that leaves the bullseye. <laughs> very, very close. How close will this be? 20 for tops. Also close, but not close enough. Will be required 25. Well, he kicked off with a 10 data. And he may well settle this one in 20. But it could be the same outcome. It's 2 0. And Rob Cross with the early break of throw. Sitting pretty in the early stages of this one. Yeah, 10 dart hold, 20 dart break. Odd start to this one, but. Ultimately, Rob Cross is averaging 100.2 and he's 2-0 up. Winner of this no, face is either Danny Nopper or Ryan Joyce. That'll be our fifth game of this afternoon. Which game's standing out to you today? No, um, in terms of performances yesterday, I am looking at Stephen Bunting. I, I'm, I'm not saying it's necessarily the match of the day against Johnny Clayton, but it's two you know, very illustrious names, but also the fact that Bunting with an average of 105.3 yesterday. Uh, Josh Rock against Michael Smith, I think, has got a lot going for it as well. Rock, I thought, you know, he's obviously, we talked at length yesterday about the year he's had. Uh, and Michael Smith is a former champion here as well, so plenty of scope on that one. And Gerwin Price against Sulevich, a repeat of the final that was 8-0 last uh, year, of course. Uh, and Sulevich looking resplendent in green and playing very resplendently as well yesterday. No, I thought he was very impressive in that match against Keegan Brown. And, yeah, 6-0, perfection on the doubles. Is he back? 50 years old, Mencio Sulevich? Is this a new lease of life? Well, it certainly is a tantalising thought. 60 for tops. And Rusty is doing absolutely nothing in this game. He wasn't doing a great deal in his game against Marco Cantela yesterday, to be honest. Well, he got himself in front, then watched as the Finn sort of strolled past him and had to survive match darts before nicking it in the last leg decider. Well, that's what I was about to touch upon. Uh, we'll just see if Cross takes out this double eight for a 3-0 lead, by the way. 10 data, 20 data, and not quite the 15 data. Yeah, Rodriguez yesterday, I, I always had the suspicion that he might get his fingers burned with, uh, with this one because he... He rode his luck to an extent, and it was a match that ebbed and flowed. You look at the number of darts that he missed at a double yesterday, 12 in total, although the bulk of those actually came in the first two legs, which he won anyway. So he, he addressed it, but he still almost managed to let it slip through his fingers anyway. This one could slip through the fingers of Rob Cross if he's not careful either. Treble 19. Was the target. Yeah, he's made a really scratchy visit there, and he's just gifting opportunities left, right, and centre here to Rob Cross, who once again returns at uh, double eight. Inside for double four. 
well. Smooth as you like in the first leg on the finishing. That leaves 64, 14 and bull. Oh, he's missed that. I mean, this is an absolute nightmare for Rusty Jake Rodriguez. And Rob Cross, I mean, it's almost like it's so easy for him, he's not focusing. Started off this match with a 10 darter. And it has taken him 42 darts to win the next two legs. 43 darts to win the next two legs. His arms up in the air, ironically, after that one. Uh, the scoreboard's just playing catch-up at the moment, but we are into leg four here. Rob Cross with a 3-0 lead. Yeah, scoreboard has just completely shut down because they can't, they they can't understand absorb. what's going on. <laughs> 10 daughter, 20 daughter, 23 daughter, are you sure? Malfunction. Yeah, does not compute. But it is 3-0 Rob Cross. Halfway to victory in a meeting with either Danny Nopper or Ryan Joyce. Very different from the one oh, other time these two faced each other on the Pro Tour last year. Got all 11 legs. Both of them averaging over a tonne. Rusty Jake really posing problems for Rob Cross. And the man who would go on to win the European Championship for the second time later that year. Winning it by six legs to five in the end. Almost like a complete role reversal here for Rodriguez. I mean, yesterday the approach play was good. And as I said, in the first two legs in particular, it was the finishing that let him down. Of the 12 darts, he missed a double. Eight coming in the first two legs. This time around, it seems to be roles reversed. Well, to be fair, we don't really know how well he's finishing because he's only had one dart at double because his exactly. scoring has been so poor. So whereas the approach play yesterday was good, today it's been atrocious. And Rob Cross can make an impression here. 100. And he'll be hopeful of returning, given the way that Rodriguez has played so far. Can't find the treble. 60. Had the decision to make there. Robbie requires 76. For a double break. Had problems in this corner of the board the last couple of legs. Oh, he doesn't like the light. Must be kicking over to the right, I'm guessing. Trying to go over the top. And he was trying to go over the top in the last leg with no help at all. Well, no success anyway. Yeah, shades of yesterday from uh, Rusty Jake Rodriguez with that particular section of finishing as well. 20s, 10s and 5s all to no avail. Rob Cross once again going around the board. 8 to double 4 and this time double 4 is taken. And that is a 17 data. That's another one for the repertoire. But it all adds up to a 4-0 lead. Not pretty numbers there. Especially in leg three and leg four, but all about just getting the win on the scoreboard and moving on, I suspect, with Rob Cross today. Well, Rusty Jake came off yesterday after surviving those match darts against Marco Cancela. And the first thing he said to his 97. entourage was that was rubbish, wasn't it? Well, th this kind of is. Yesterday, he did enough. And there were little flashes in there, but there's been no flash of anything from Rusty Jake in this one. Puzzling performance from a very, very exciting young talent. 100. Yeah, we talked about this potential for a late surge into the European Championship field, but it looks as though it's going to well and truly hit the buffers today. Quarter finalist in Budapest, third round appearance in Belgium, but uh, it looks as though it will be just the £2,000 on the... European order of merit for Rusty Jake Rodriguez and into his bank account as well, of course, but that will not be enough to get him into the field for the European Championship in Dortmund at the end of October. Unless something spectacular is forthcoming. This isn't bad, is it? We should get him two darts for a 5 0 lead, unless the big fish. Well, there's no chance this goes. Be <laughs> oh. well, I, I didn't mean miss it by that much, Rusty. Well, it would have been a nice way to make some sort of impression in this one. But even that opportunity has passed him by. And that's more like it from Rob Cross. That's a 14 dart, so pretty much. Back to within the range that we expect of a former world champion and a two-time European champion oh, as well. And maybe, just maybe, a little flourish here from Rusty Jake to round things off as well as we enter the final straight of this one. 5-0. Five 
100. Rusty Jaker, a player who is, well, he's still only 21. He seems to have been around for a long time. He was 16 when he made his European Tour debut, seven. something we saw yesterday being emulated by Dylan Duo Jr. Trying to calculate Duo's birthday, or ask him what his birthday is. We're trying to get to the bottom of this to see if he can beat the record held by Ooh, Max Hopp, who I think still retains the status as the youngest player to have competed on the European Tour. 16 years and two months when he took part at the Dutch Masters in 2012. I don't think he's that young. I believe his birthday, yeah, it was in January. Yeah, so nowhere near. So he's an old man. He's a comparative veteran. Geriatric Dylan and his ancient debut. Rodriguez can't even lay claim to be the first player in this millennium to play on the European Tour. That was uh, Nico, Nico Bloom. Bloom. Yeah. But, uh, well, Dylan Duo yesterday, 6-1 against Chris Doby, who returns later to face Damon Hetter, the number six seed. Rob Cross in danger of letting this one slip, but he's certainly got himself back into the driving seat with that visit. Treble 18 for Bullseye here has to go for Rusty Jake, and it isn't going to go. 55. And Rob Cross closing in. Three legs in this game. Rusty Jake has had at least one dart at double. But he's not been good enough. And Rob Cross for a 6-0 whitewash. The tricky switch, as we call it. 84. Rusty requires 58. Rob Cross might well finish this one off with a 21 dart just to keep him, keep him with this uh, match. But Rusty Jake clearly has other ideas as he gets on the scoreboard. No whitewash in the opener. No bagel for Rob Cross. But back on throw at 5-1. 42. Still mixing it up on the uh, development tour as well is uh, Rusty Jake Rodriguez. 17th position at the moment. Hindered by the fact he is playing an abundance of stuff on the uh, regular pro tour as well. 114 on the uh, Players' Championship Order of Merit, so won't be involved in the finals in Minehead. Yeah, hasn't quite got the platform that Mark Webster will be telling us about ad nauseum over the course <laughs> of today. Uh, he leaps out of his seat. It's the fastest I've seen Webby move for this weekend. Said, anybody who says the word platform within a five-mile radius, it's like the oh, bat signal to Mark Webster. His ears prick up. Platform? But he, it is still early days. For 140. Him. Very talented. Sadly, not seen a great deal of that on show this weekend. He is fighting away in this one and he has improved over the last two and a half legs 100 but unfortunately if you go 5-0 down you don't really anticipate there's a way back that said yeah double 14 he was just checking if it found its way into the treble and it did and it's a good job he checked as well but this could be a break of throw and all of a sudden Dan I'm not going to use the word momentum just yet. Use it, go on. Easy. He's but playing better one now one. than he was at the start of the match. But then he was playing so poorly at the start of the match, you didn't anticipate it staying like that. That's 15 data from Rusty J. Back to back legs, that one's a break of throw. Well, you still suspect that he's left himself with uh, too much to do, but. That will give him a huge amount of encouragement. I'm sure his fellow countrymen, Mensoul, have watched on with delight at that double 14 being pinned at the third time of asking. It was a fairly clustered area as well. But he found a way through. 100. Seven. Rob Cross, one of only three players, by my reckoning, who is currently in the top ten of the Order of Merit, the Total Order of Merit, and the Players' Championship Order of Merit as well. well. By and large, he's been very consistent this year, and 
he'll tell you that he's actually benefited from not being involved in things like the Premier League mm. and the World Series. 60. It's been the kind of routine that he had in his first year or so playing PDC Darts where he enjoyed such incredible success. Of Speaking of incredible success, <laughs> that's a 174 for Rusty Jake. Yes, turn around, young lady, and watch this because Rusty Jake Rodriguez is on course for a 13 darter. 140. To back up the break of throw. And 5-0 becomes 5-3, and Rob Cross is all of a sudden looking anxiously into his rearview mirror. And you can see, zooming up in the outside lane, Rusty Jake Rodriguez with a 17-15-13. There's a pattern developing there, Dan. There is. He's in the winning mood, is Rusty Jake. Yeah, shame he couldn't pounce over that uh, sluggish start by Rob Cross, actually. Because Rob Cross could hit back and punish in style here. Yeah, just the 240, but that'll do for Rob. Smattering of applause to give him some encouragement. Easy fight. Looks like a healthier crowd today. Swelled by a group of people wearing those hooped shirts, Breton shirts, seafaring shirts. There's the, uh, I called it a bear yesterday. I got chastised this morning for... Well, it's obviously not a bear, is it? obviously not a bear. You've been coming here year after year, Rob, and talking specifically about that monkey. And while we <laughs> and, all and know... Other, and other yeah, Well, we all know that you have something of a prejudice against the Barbary apes. Forget about that, because Rob Cross might win this on 1-6-1 on the ball. Ooh. <laughs> Well, it's a third match dart missed by Voltage. But he's going to get loads and loads more. I suspect he won't want to hang around too much longer because he will be slightly frustrated that Rodriguez has put three legs on the scoreboard. But that will be the extent of the fight back because Rob Cross has held on. Rusty Jake did, of course, just leave himself far too much to do, trailing by five legs to nil. But Rusty Jake hit back to... At least threaten the contest in the end, but Rob Cross was able to keep him at arm's length and having kicked off with a 10 darter.